What up you guys, it's your boy Markmaster back once again on Dragon Ball Z Universe 2 on Nintendo Switch. And today we're showing off the one, the almighty Jiren of Universe 11 of the Universe Survival Arc. Who went toe to toe with Goku Ultra Instinct and who is now the full power Jiren. You know, because you can tell how bulky he is compared to the... To the other one, that's his regular style where his, his outfit is all torn up. So, if you enjoy this tutorial, hope you like and subscribe and help me reach 2,000 subscribers. Uh, I appreciate it. So, let's do this. I will prevail, no matter the cost. No matter the cost. Okay, but I'm not gonna do Ultra Instinct Goku, but I'm gonna do Super Saiyan. Yeah, Blue Evolved Vegeta. There isn't going to be anything left of you when I'm done! We shall see. <laughs> In the Tournament of Power. And the thing with Full Power Jiren, her, his moves is a little more different than the regular. And on this one, he don't have the meditation move. Change your form all you want. It won't be enough to defeat me. Indeed. I'm a Saiyan. And not just any saying, I'm the mighty Vegeta! <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Alright, gonna you know remove the display and go show you all what Jira can do. Well first off, you can see by his running. He's a bit of a slow pace, but when dashing, he'd be kinda quick. He'd be a little slightly quick. So Anywho, okay, his first move is Power Impact. You know, same as the regular Jiren, as we all know. And now, her, his newest move is Impact, Fl Impact Flare, as where he looks into his opponent. Where you can see how menacing looking he is, like where he fires a barrage out his eyes. Which is kind of so weird though, but pretty cool, but if you tap Y twice if you hit your opponent or or either if you miss, that's where she can do a little follow up and do like a do rapid punches. Yeah, like that. Yeah, whether if you miss it. Like if you do it again. Yeah, but like it did not hit him, but but he can follow up with a, you know, combo punch. Like, what if he misses? Like, if he does it a second time immediately. Yeah, see that? Like, it didn't really hit him, but the, the follow up punches did. So, anywho, his next is full power energy wave. Kind of different than, like, the ultimate attack, you know, but his is, like, a little regular. It's kind of like Vegeta, where they change up his final splash. It's kind of like this. Yeah, it's you know kind of not much, but it does a heck of a damage. Kind of like Final Flash. So now his ultimate attack is Power Rush. You know, which you already know from the other Jiren, but his move is a little more different. -er, where you say you lose. See that? Like it's a little changed up. Yeah, but. You know, the difference about it, you can, you know, have the meditation for it to sustain it, you know. To, so you can do like four or more bars. Yeah, but it does one heck of a more damage. It's like different than the other G version of Jiren. Like, it does like more damage. Which is pretty good. So, now his next, his signature move, his big signature move is Power Wall. Yeah, but as you can see, it did not hit his opponent. It did not hit Vegeta. But, the special thing you should know, like once you do Power Wall, you you have to, you know, hold the, you know, the control stick forward, and then it'll go further. Now, watch this. Okay. Well, it did not go further, but you gotta make sure to time it further. See that? 
So you see what I did, like, you, you had to time it further, like, when you do it regularly, see, it didn't go further, but, but you had to make sure to move the stick while doing the power wall move at the same time. See that? You gotta move the stick forward while doing the power wall at the same time when doing the Y button. So, so like I said, this is the regular when you don't move the stick. Yeah, cause it'd be, it'd be like far away from Vegeta to get hit. Yeah, but if you hold Y and and you know ZL or ZR whatever control you're playing, you gotta also move the stick forward. See that? Like it, it went a little further, even though it didn't hit Vegeta, but it still went further. Like so. Anyway, this is. This is, you know, where, where it's, you know, not close to him, but when you move the stick as well, it, it, it moves forward while, while you hold the Y button and, you know, the ZR and ZL button at the same time. You gotta do all, all that to, to hit your opponent forward with the power wall. So, if you guys understand that, you know, I hope you put a like on that and, you know, subscribe, like I said, but, okay, now, anywho. Yeah, this is his regular Kai Blast. I know you guys say Key Blast, but I say like Kai Blast. So now I'm gonna get to his his you know his combo attacks. This is where I mass Y. Yeah, it's all futile. Yeah, that's his you know his Y mashing. Yeah, but a combo with this one you can do with impact. Flare. So Rathi does the punch. Yeah, you can do that move. And plus, when you match Y again, then then you yeah do that. You do Y twice. Yeah. So remember, match Y, Rathi's punch, immediately do Impact Flare twice to do more damage. Okay, and uh, with full power energy wave. Like, it would hit him eventually. Like, it would guarantee to hit him, but you gotta make sure to, to kind of time it early to, to hit your opponent. Even though it's not that accurate, if you get what I'm saying. Just mass Y, do a punch. Like, it could sometimes hit him sometimes, just sometimes, you guys. But, you know, not always. It's not really that accurate, but mostly with power impact, it does be accurate. See, that, that like, that move, you can do more than, than full power anyway. It's more better. Or impact flare, like, where you had to, you know, tap Y twice afterwards. Okay. Let's get on to... His next uh, combo attacks where you mass Y. See that? Well, it's not the Y, it's the X, my mistake. You mass X. Yeah, and you can do a follow up with, with power impact, like, it's very helpful. See, so do a follow up with power impact. When you. When he. When he's. When Vegeta's spinning around like that, that's where you. Do that immediately. Yeah, do it immediately. Like, see, like I did not do it. I didn't. I didn't time the timing right. So I'm gonna do it again. Mass X. Then immediately press X to do the power impact while doing the Z R at the same time. If you if you get what I'm saying, if you get the controls I'm saying, you guys. Okay, but. But one thing though, like when doing the X, it can't really like, I mean it can hit your opponent like if, if they go uh, above you, like but it's not that accurate, but but even also with impact player it's not that accurate either, or, or power, well power impact is more accurate but, okay, yeah see like, 
he did not hit his opponent when looking, but he can do a follow up afterwards when you tap Y twice, if you understand what I'm saying. So, anywho, gotta get on to his next ones. His next ones is a bit different, like, okay. I was doing like X, Y, X, and he does like, you know, that that move is kind of like with, with power rush, but, but it's kind of like a finisher blow. Okay, when I, when I mash it. See that? Well, it's not all. See, you just gotta make sure to match X, Y, X. You know, you gotta repeat those like a pattern. You gotta make sure you be quick about it. So remember, X, Y, X. Yeah, and he does that finish. And, uh, let's see. I think his next moves it be like mashing Y three times, I believe. Yeah, mashing Y like three times, then, then you're gonna do X to do a fall elbow slam. Well, most of these like four times. Like I've been trying to understand Jiren a little bit when we playing him for the past, you know, two days. You guys, this move's a little bit different than the Ray Jiren. So you got Mass Y actually like four times, and then follow with X. Yeah, then he goes with for an elbow slam, and plus. The thing with when I did like X, Y, and X is a little more different when, with his combo attack when I do Y. Yeah, see that? Like, he, he can do a fall, but you gotta be like kind of quick about it afterwards. You gotta like wait out the timing. Like, it's a little bit, it's a little bit different, so... Anywho, that's about it, you guys. If you uh, if you understand all these, uh, you know, p combo patterns that I was doing, you know, where he he does like these certain moves like this, when I when I mask X Y X and Y, you know, you gotta like make sure you button mask quickly. Like, and he can do that. Like. You, you can mass Y Yeah, and you can do like a, a follow-up X, you know, you, you can keep butt matching if you want to and then do an X button afterwards and then you follow with power impact as well See, so you just gotta make sure to time the timing so if you enjoyed this video and understand, you know, this tutorial I was giving you, you know, uh, how to do Jiren, you know, you can let me know in the comments below, you know, and don't forget to like and subscribe and see me play Jiren a lot more, you know, on any future gameplays I, I would do. But before I go off, just remember, big tip, like if you're playing Nintendo Switch, remember, do ZR and ZL, you gotta hold them. Yeah, do you know power wall with Y as well at the same time. And remember, when doing them, you know it don't it don't get further to your point. But once you move forward with the stick, while while doing power wall with the Y and the ZR and ZL, that's where it can move further. You just gotta hold it. Gotta hold all of them for it to get further. You see, like it hit Vegeta just now. You gotta remember like to hold it, hold the stick as well, like so the power wall can go further. Just, just like you know, yeah. Like I said, you gotta hold it. Yeah, but if you don't hold the stick, that's where it can't go further. But if you hold the stick while holding Y and X and Z R and Z L, if you if you know what I'm saying, yeah, it'll go further. So. Again, if you enjoy Full Power Jiren, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one that is Gogeta, which, who is a very complex character who I've been trying to figure out, so stay tuned to that. So peace out.